Greetings to the country of Tanzania and all the great citizens there. Beautiful Tanzania. I've been there, by the way. Love it. Love the people. I love y'all. And I'm in California, USA, and I come with you, come to you with a message from God. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. I know some of you in Tanzania are not Christians. You have not accepted Jesus Christ as Savior. Maybe you're Muslim. Maybe you're something else. Maybe you're nothing. Well, today is the day to become a Christian. I want to invite you to do so and be baptized in the Spirit. I hope you're ready. The way to start is to begin with confession of sins. We're all sinners and we all need Jesus for salvation and grace. And uh, so we say to Jesus, to start out, we say, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. Can you say that or something like that? Do you believe you're a sinner? Are you ready to say sorry to Jesus? even kneel down and make him king of your life. we got to be humble. We all want to be king of our own life, but the truth is we can't be. We don't have it in us. We need a higher power, Holy Spirit, that comes through Jesus Christ. So if you're ready, then I'm ready to baptize you. Here we go. If you say yes to Jesus, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you are now a Christian. Congratulations. Welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. You're a Christian by virtue of your faith. The baptism is a symbol and a seal, but your faith is what makes you Christian and keeps you Christian. So keep the faith, keep believing, keep growing in Christ. It's not just a, a static thing, but it's a dynamic matter. It's a relationship. You'll get out of it what you put into it. All right? So now, now you need to uh, know that you uh, will go to heaven when you die. That's guaranteed as long as you keep the faith. And you'll be there in heaven with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's our God. That's one God. But three persons. That's the Trinity. Trinity God. You'll be there with God. And then also with all the angels and saints. And also fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. As well as uh, your, family, your family members will be there. Also, if, if they're Christians when they die. So if they're not yet Christian and haven't died yet, then now's the time to invite them to become a Christian. Hopefully they'll say yes because of you now. We'll pray so. Let's, let's hope and pray so. And now that you're a Christian, there's four things you should do as soon as possible. Number one, you should start talking to God. That's called prayer. Number two, start reading the Word of God. That's the Bible, not the Quran, the Holy Bible. Three, you should start telling others about God, about Jesus Christ, about salvation and grace, how God loved us so much he allowed his son to die for us so we could be saved, things like that. Things like I'm telling you right now. Maybe you've learned a little bit before but never said yes. Well, apply that learning if it's correct to what you're telling others learn more and grow and read the Bible and tell others. That's called being an evangelist. And then fourth, find a good church of traditional values to start attending on a regular basis. And if you can't find that, at least find other Christians to uh, have regular fellowship with and study the Bible and pray together. That's your small Christian family. You should so socialize with them as much as possible so they can keep you in the faith and help you grow. And all the other Christians around the world, that's your big Christian family. So you need both. You need a 
small and the big. The arm needs the leg. That's why it's called the body. Can't do it alone. And then uh, I'll add a little more for you to read in the box below. And if you have any questions or for a free Bible, please message me on YouTube and I'll happily send you one and try to help you in any way I can. And I'll be praying for you. God be with you and bless you. Lord, we pray for any new Christians in Tanzania. Be with them. Guide them. Lead them. Show them the way. Fill them up with all your love. All the joy, peace, patience, kindness, fruit of the Spirit. And help them to have the courage to tell others about you. To tell the gospel, the good news of you, Jesus Christ our Savior, everywhere they go to believe in you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul. We pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.